Yo, what's up, ninjas? Welcome back to All Things Juggalo. I know it's been about a week since the gathering, and I'm starting to have some withdrawals already. But, uh, yeah, it took like four days before my voice started to come back. But I thought I'd go ahead and get this video up. It's a little longer than I actually wanted to wait, but, you know, getting back, a lot of shit to do. I uh, kind of fell behind on things. But here I am getting this up. Uh, I don't have a whole any extra footage from uh, the gathering because of the whole memory card issue and my camera battery sucked. They took everything I got just to get the uh, the seminars recorded. And the only reason you didn't see a uh, what is a big hoodoo seminar is because the ABK seminar just kind of ran right into the big hoodoo seminar and. They really weren't doing anything or talking much. Uh, just kind of like up there having a good time, partying. Kind of like ABK's uh, old radio show. He's just hanging out. They didn't have too much to say. Um, I did post on my Facebook page the clip about where Big Hoodoo talked about AB, him and ABK starting up their a new group, possibly with somebody else, about... What do they call it? The Have Nots. Which I was pretty excited about that because I actually got that posted up before Fago Lovers or anybody else. So I was, I was pretty pumped about that. But yeah. Overall though, the gathering was the shit. Uh, I pray, I really pray they have it there again next year so that I can go back. Because um, I don't really, anywhere else probably my, I wouldn't be able to come up with the money or the funds. But I really hope it's going to be there again next year. A lot of the artists seem to like it there. They liked that it was a little bit more compact. The only people that really complained about it was uh, some of the previous gathering goers. You know, they didn't like being so cramped and, you know, the disorganization at first with uh, there wasn't really any kind of parking attendance or guidance. Which, if they did it again, that would probably be fixed. And, you know, they'd be guiding people a little better as to where they can camp. Uh, some people actually liked that it was closer together, more compact. Because, you know, they felt more secure about leaving their shit. Left in their tent because there was always somebody hanging out at their tent, you know. There's always somebody around, you know. You could just walk away and there's always a ninja that you've been sitting there talking to, hanging out with at night in the daytime whatever and you know you feel like you could trust them if something's going on you know they're gonna let everybody know or let you know and put a stop to that as far as uh, I guess the police reports there's only been like, it was only like a a few small minor incidences where things were stolen from people's tents um, nothing major really happened the cops in general they uh, there was a report that they actually enjoyed it the cops that were there you know they they just said it was the easiest job they'd ever done there was no foul news about it at all the only real complaints came from the neighbors just about the noise but it's it wasn't about the gathering it's about you know the location that venue because they always do stuff there and you know they have hookah fest there and all kinds of shit and they always complain about the noise, so they ain't nothing new. But overall, like I said, it was the shit. Um, I'm hoping they go back because I want to go back next year. And next year, if they do, I'm going to be more prepared. Now that I know, I, you know, being that was my first gathering, I know more about what to expect. I will definitely have a better camera, <laughs> something with better memory. Um, a better way of charging things I'm gonna get a Wi-Fi card for my computer that way you know I can instantly upload my shit right away and try to beat Fago lovers out on any stories that might break um, and yeah that's pretty much it I mean I'm gonna be a lot more prepared next year if it comes back you know I got some more homies that didn't get to make it they wanted to go they couldn't, it, you know, it was kind of a surprise to come up on them too fast, I guess. Uh, 
but they're already planning. As soon as they hear the word, they're definitely going next year. And it's going to be a whole, probably a whole group of us this time instead of just, you know, me and a friend. It'll probably be a whole group going up. And we're going to have a hell of a fucking time. So I'm really hoping, praying, bring it back to fucking Legend Valley. It was the shit. You know, we want to hear. Um, other things that went happened. You know, I'm sure you already heard the stories with some of the f fucking freaky shit during the uh, wet t-shirt contest. You know, with a girl that won, you know, she had to win by eating some other girl's ass out. I didn't see that. I wasn't at that point. I was at a seminar at the time. And then there was another event that happened on the stage where, you know, a real huge guy, this girl drank fucking liquor right out of the crack of that dude's ass, which was fucking disgusting. <laughs> Hands down. That was some nasty shit. Uh, overall, though, there was some things there that would shock you to see. For some people, I wasn't really surprised. A lot of things were just <sighs> pretty nasty to see. Uh, but most people just didn't give a shit, let it all hang out, what the fuck. But I'm sure everybody had a good time. Some things that I picked up, you know, I've already showed you some things like the bandana and everything. Um, I went ahead and got a new Jelly Roll CD, got that bitch autographed. Uh, Hobson, you know, oh and if you haven't seen Hobson live, see that motherfucker live, that shit was dope. I mean, never in my life saw somebody get out there and vertical crowd surf performing a set. That shit was fucking cool as hell. You know, I got to pass him over top, maybe with everybody else. Uh, man, it was just an unbelievable set. I ain't never seen nothing like that. I, w I would love to see Hobson again. That was a good show. So I picked up one of his CDs that I didn't have. Um, the Haywire mixtape thing. I don't know. I know some of the songs on it. It's dope. Uh, what else did I get? Um, I saw Met Chop, uh, Shaggy Two Dope's brother, you know, from Chop Shop. Uh, ran into him, got one of his CDs off of him. Thought I'd give it a try because I've always been kind of curious about this shit. I haven't yet. I haven't listened to it yet. I've been holding on to all this shit, um, waiting so I can get this videotaped. And the only things I've actually listened to was the uh, Dark Lotus CD. And currently in my car is the new Dark Half CD. So I didn't actually get a chance to show you that. But everything else just kind of held on to. Um, got a couple Freddie Grimes CDs. A lot of you don't know who he was or who he is. I didn't get a chance to see his performance. But ever since, uh, what was the radio show? Sugar Slam? Um, when they're introducing up and coming artists and rating them and all that and voting on them. When uh, Violent J was on that episode, he actually gave props to Freddie Grimes. And as soon as I saw that his stuff was there, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and pick up a couple CDs. They were pretty cheap. I thought I'd try it out. Uh, from what I've heard, it sounds pretty dope. Um, what else? You know, you got samplers like crazy. You know, just people trying to get their shit noticed and just slinging out CDs and samplers and all kinds of shit. Um, I'll probably check them out. I, you know, I always on the lookout for new artists, new stuff, new material, because that's me. I like underground music regardless who it is. I like to at least try it, see if I like it, see what the shit sounds like. Some people, I, there's some underground artists, you know, slinging out these things. That I have found, you know, really great on, you know, high level. They should be higher up than they actually are. And uh, I really like some of their shit, so. I look forward to actually sitting back and trying to listen to those. See if there's anything there I might like. If there is, you know, get on the website. Get on the internet. Hunt them down. See what other kind of stuff they have. Um, and if it's really, really dope course I always do a video I'll review their shit I'll put give them their props right here so you know if y'all be looking you want somebody to do talk about your shit you know get a hold of me if you want to send me your stuff for free go right ahead I'll look at it um, preferably it's got to actually be a full case 
you know, artwork, everything. Those are about the ones I really do any kind of a review or something on. Anything else, you know, I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit. What else happened? Okay, Twisted. Their one day only sale. Which fucking blowed because they were fucking mad busy. And I couldn't get in there to get some of the shit that I really wanted. They had a gathering shirt that was off the hook. It just said, uh, you know, gathering the juggalos gets twisted. And the O was the skull lung symbol. You know, it was really fucking dope. I wanted that shirt, but the time I could actually get up there, all sold out. Fucking pissed me off. Uh, I've been emailing them. I'm hoping they decide to go ahead and print some more up and sell them on the website for everybody that couldn't get one. Because, to be honest, the Psychopathic Records gathering shirts were very plain and dull and boring. And they wanted 30 bucks, and I wasn't paying $30 for just a shirt that just said Gathering of the Juggalos 2014 15th Annual. That's all it said. There was no picture, no nothing. Just various colored shirts with that on the front and same shit on the back. I wasn't paying 30 bucks for that. So I didn't actually get any official Gathering shirt, which was a big letdown for me. Because um, I always try to get some kind of tour shirt or whatever, you know. Anyway, back on the subject. Twisted's booth. Packed as fuck. Um, I did happen to get this shirt, the Rock the Dead shirt. You've probably already seen it. It's on the website. Um, everybody knows I had to pick up these basketball shorts. These things were fucking dope as hell. I fought myself all day because they were higher priced than... Anything that Hatchet Gear had, they wanted like 65 bucks, and Hatchet Gear always had their shit for 40 I fought all day with myself on picking them up, and then I decided, what the fuck, I'm here to have fun, have a good time. I've been eyeballing them since they put them up on the website and announced them at the gathering. That's the main item I really wanted, so I went ahead and said, fuck it, I'm going to buy the motherfuckers. Which I'm glad too, because now they're on their website, and they want 75 plus shipping. You'll be paying like 85 bucks just for a pair of shorts. It's insane. Uh, anyway, I finally got the Get Twisted regular edition cover. You know, to add to my collection. Not that it's anything different. But, you know, I like to have different covers, different things. Uh, picked up another one of these copies of the For the Fam 2. They were selling these things. I guess to get rid of their overstock since they probably didn't sell all the shirts that they wanted to sell. Um, what else? Um, got a CD from my homie, Jay Bazaar, one of his. He even had some shirts there, which are really fucking dope. So I went ahead and picked up one of these things. I really like that. Picture of him strangling another guy in that. I, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, for an underground local artist. You know, that's one of the best shirts I've seen, really. Um, what else? Um, Buckshot, you know. Mom style music. Had to pick up this dope ass shirt. Zombie Hunter shirt. It's really fucking cool. And there's the back of it is Mob Style Skull as a zombie. It's pretty fucking cool. Kind of been wanting that for a little while. I like that shirt. And uh, got one of the Avengers, Underground Avengers shirts. It's pretty fucking dope. And there's the back of it. You know. These are actually the band shirts, so they can't even sell these on the website anymore because of the whole Marvel getting on their case about using, actually Disney, since they own Marvel now, put a stop and desist order on them selling their shit, merchandise, with all the Marvel Avengers similarities. Uh, picked up one of the new copies of the Underground Avengers without the... Uh, the whole comic book looks, the pictures. This is the only one they're allowed to sell. Because it has the regular A, so it don't look like the Avengers symbol. And they don't have the, you know, the Hulk and the Iron Man lookalikes and shit. Which, it's pretty cool. They actually put a bonus track on this. Of, uh, it's a remix track of the King Kong with uh, Jelly Roll. I haven't listened to it yet. I'm sure it's pretty freaking dope. 
so I can't wait. I'm honestly I'm not even sure I'm gonna open this. I might just keep it just as a collection. I don't know. Uh, what else? Um, that was a dude waiting outside of the autograph tent. I was waiting in line, and they were uh, this dude was walking around selling some something he did. Now check these out. He hand drawed these things. They're penciled in, colored pencil. Look how fucking fresh that shit is. That shit looks good. He he made these pictures up with colored pencils. I mean, they almost look like actual photographs. Get a close look at that shit. Look how fucking dope that shit looks. Colored pencil, and then he uh, made a bunch of copies of it, print them up, and was selling them. I thought they were fucking cool, so I went ahead and got them. Also got a twisted one. It looks fucking sick as hell. Take a look at that artwork. It's fucking dope, isn't it? I had to get that shit. It looks cool. I was going to get an autograph, but their lines were incredibly long. And they were cutting them off, and I wasn't waiting for three hours. Three, four hours just to get in to get their autographs. I had other shit I wanted to go do. Other groups and artists I wanted to see. Um, picked me up a new pair of shorts from Psychopathic. It's kind of like a t-shirt material. They're pretty fucking cool. I like them a lot. I like having extra shorts. Uh, what else? I got my Motown Rage CD autographed. Which is fucking dope. Really like that shit a lot. And during their set, I actually managed to get one of the drumsticks. This is my very first concert drumstick. I'm fucking excited about that. It's pretty beat up though. You can see where he's just slamming the hell out of the guitar. Or, not the guitar, Jesus. The drums. <laughs> and the cymbals. But, it's cool. It's my first drumstick. I'm excited about that. And then the ever popular seminar release of the PSRY PSYR 17 CD has like five tracks I think I know you can go to Fago Lovers and download it which is pretty much why I'm not even going to open it I'll just download it listen to it and just keep this for my collection other than that I don't have much else that I really picked up um, all I can say is it was an awesome experience I can't wait to possibly go back next year and I'm gonna have a lot more for that when it happens till then that's all I really got if you guys got any questions or anything uh, you want me to review any of this shit you know hit me up leave it in the comments whatever um, I'm gonna try to be back as soon as I can